With Game of Thrones gone, we're gonna need something to satisfy all of our desires for political intrigue, interesting characters, and dragons? No dragons? Come on. Hey guys, it's Phoebe. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows that could be the next Game of Thrones. Think you know Game of Thrones? Click below to sign in with your Google or Facebook account and take the new trivia quiz on WatchMojo.com. We're taking a look at upcoming fantasy TV shows that we think have the best chance of attaining the kind of cultural status of Game of Thrones. Let's get to it! Number 10. His Dark Materials Based on the fantasy book series by Sir Philip Pullman, His Dark Materials follows a young girl in a world where people's souls manifest as animal demons and her adventures in parallel universes. Although a movie adaptation failed to garner much praise, this was largely due to its rushed pace. Hopefully the TV series will be able to take a more relaxed approach that will allow its story to unfold at a better speed. And Lin-Manuel Miranda set to star, and the show already renewed for a second season before it airs, the future looks bright for his dark materials. Number 9. The Watch must be obeyed. Set in Terry Pratchett's long-running fantasy series Discworld, The Watch will not be a complete adaptation of the late author's absurd and comic stories, famous for turning fantasy tropes on their heads. Rather, The Watch will adapt or be based on the stories about the city watch of Ankhmore Pork City, one of the book's major settings, in a kind of fantasy police procedural. While the concept isn't entirely original, ahem, right? Hopefully The Watch won't take itself too seriously, which, if Pratchett's usual style is any indication, seems very likely. And suddenly the old circus comes to town. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on, but you can just leave right now. The Dark Tower. He who kills of his gun has forgotten the face of his father. I kill him by heart. The first of several fantasy shows in development by Amazon on our list, the Dark Tower series will be based on the Stephen King books of the same name. A departure from King's usual repertoire, the Dark Tower blends the fantasy, horror, and western genres, as it follows a gunslinger and his companions attempting to reach the titular tower. Although a film adaptation failed, likely due to being a pseudo-sequel to the series that also tried to appeal to casual audiences, we're optimistic that the show can deliver a more inclusive and faithful rendering of King's longest-running book series. All that matters to me is that I find and kill Walter. That's it. Number 7. The King Killer Chronicle Patrick Rothfuss's King Killer series follows Kvoth, an orphaned musician and arcanist in training, on various adventures that build toward him becoming a legendary figure. The King Killer Chronicle TV series will not be Kvoth's story. Rather, that will be adapted into a film series. Instead, the TV show is said to be a prequel, possibly focused on Kvoth's parents, though the details are still sketchy. However, the spreading of the franchise across multiple media could prove popular, and the fact that Hamilton creator Lin-Manuel Miranda is writing the songs for both has us thinking that the Kingkiller Chronicle will be music to our ears. Number 6. The Chronicles of Narnia You must be some kind of beardless dwarf? I'm not a dwarf. I'm a girl. C.S. Lewis's celebrated fantasy series follows the adventures of British children transported into the magical land of Narnia, home to talking animals, powerful villains, and many other wonders. While several television and feature films have been made about the series, the entire franchise has never been committed to screen. Given that Netflix has the rights to all seven books, a first for any company, fans may finally get the chance to see Narnia's origins and conclusion on screen at last. While in many ways these classics of children's literature are practically the opposite of Game of Thrones, Lewis's series remains beloved among fantasy fans, and they're sure to strike a chord with viewers. Will we meet again? <laughs> yes, dear one. One day. Number 5. The Wheel of Time One of the most famous, best-selling, and longest high fantasy series ever written, Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time is a sprawling story of political intrigue, epic battles, and unlikely heroes. At the center is a reluctant hero whose actions could either save the world or destroy it. Said to air on Amazon, The Wheel of Time promises to be the kind of expansive lore and massive cast that Game of Thrones fans love, while also incorporating a complex magic system. 
George R. R. Martin credited Jordan with helping to redefine the genre, paying tribute with the character Trevor Jordan of Tor in his own series. We have high hopes, so long as the show doesn't take its cues from those cheesy book covers. Number 4. Lovecraft Country H.P. Lovecraft's cosmic horror fiction has terrified and fascinated readers for over a century, and inspired other writers as well. Such is the case with Matt Ruff's Lovecraft Country, a novel that follows an African-American man searching for his father during the Jim Crow era, while also contending with Lovecraftian monsters. Given that J.J. Abrams and Jordan Peele, two of the biggest names in entertainment right now, are executive producers on the show, we think we can safely expect thrilling and thought-provoking things from Lovecraft Country. Number 3. The Witcher The Isle of Mists where the elven mage had concealed her. There was no time to rejoice, for the wild hunt descended on them. This Polish fantasy series follows Geralt, one of the titular superhuman monster hunters, and his adventures with a colorful cast of companions, including the bard Dandelion, the sorceress Yennefer, and their adopted daughter Ciri. Andrzej Sapkowski's short stories and novels have been adapted for TV and film before, to less than critical acclaim. The eponymous video game series has fared much better, however, increasing demand for more Witcher on screen. Answering the call, Netflix is adapting a new TV series, with Sapkowski as creative consultant and Henry Cavill as Gerald. Given that the franchise is noted for its violence, social commentary, fantastic creatures, and sex, The Witcher is a strong contender to fill the void once Game of Thrones ends. What? Another chance to win. Number 2. Game of Thrones spin-offs Fear is for the long night, when the sun hides for years, and children are born and live and die, all in darkness. Who better to take up the mantle of Game of Thrones than another series set in Westeros? A currently unconfirmed number of prequel spin-offs to the franchise are in development, but the one that's confirmed so far will take place in the Age of Heroes, when the White Walkers launched their first assault on Westeros and is set to star Naomi Watts. Other potential shows are rumored to focus on Valyria, the lost home of the Targaryens and their dragons, as well as a series about the Targaryen civil war, The Dance of the Dragons. However many end up coming to screens, we'll definitely be watching. Winter is coming. This one will be long, and dark things will come with it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. You are a demon. We're hereditary enemies. Number 1. The Lord of the Rings One ring to rule them all. The Lord of the Rings is the granddaddy of most modern fantasy, and it's still got some stories to tell. The TV adaptation is reportedly a prequel to the familiar trilogy, set thousands of years before Middle-earth's Second Age, the time period of the Lost Kingdom of Numenor, when the Rings of Power were forged and Sauron was first defeated. How much of these pivotal events will be shown is still unknown, but if there's one fantasy show in development that might be able to match or exceed the hype of Game of Thrones to rule them all, we believe it's this one. I'll settle for a three-eyed raven, that's as far as I'm gonna go. No three-eyed raven? Come on, people. Thank you guys so much for watching. What did you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below, and if you need some other videos to soothe that Game of Thrones void, check out these ones.